So mate, mate, sail the possibility. Hello, fellow homo sapiens. This is David Seymour. I'm your host for Lifers. And today we are back here in the Michaud Forest, a little farther north than where we usually go. Um, it's cooled down a little bit. It's about 58 degrees right now. And uh, I'm out here looking for a rattlesnake or any other species of anything we can find today. So let's go. I just found a colony of ants here. Don't want to bother them too much. Here they are. Try to figure out what they are. There's the queen. Dusky wings. I think it's a different dusky wing. I'm not sure. There, there's several different species of them in this area, so it's hard to tell. Whoa. Guys, I just found something really cool. Look at this. I found a bristle tail which is in its own order of insect I'm not sure how hard they are these are to ID I don't know much about them honestly I just know that they're in their own order There he is. All right, we'll keep moving on. A toad. Now, there are two species of toads in uh, my area. The American toad and the Fowler's toad. And the way you can tell them apart is by the position of their warts. Um, their wart, their wart configuration on their backs. And uh, I'm not 100% sure what this one is, but there he is. And he thinks he's safe, so I won't disturb him. Actually, that's our first aneurin. Aneurin, which includes uh, frogs and toads. Now he's a young guy, a juvenile. Could be a Fowler's toad. I'll check to make sure. Um, let's make a little bit of little video out of him. There he is. The American Toad. Or the Fowler's Toad. One of the two. They're both quite common. Around here. So hopefully we can figure it out. Alright. Still looking for that rouse snake. Oh, this is nice. I love coming up to these, um, up to these streams like this. We're pretty high up. We're, we're in the mountains right now. And, uh, usually find these, these springs, which, uh, invite a lot of wildlife. If you're lucky. A ringneck snake, a Northern ringneck. Yes. 
Now we've been looking for these for a couple episodes, me and my son. And it's a shame they aren't here. He isn't here with us, but there it is. The Northern Ringneck. They're a beautiful snake. Fairly common, not always easy to find. Um, as you can see, that's how big he is. Pretty small snake. I've never had any of them bite me. And even if he did, they wouldn't hurt at all. Uh, I'll try to hold him up. It's kind of hard to tell where, where I should hold him with this GoPro. There he is. Little ringneck snake. The northern ringneck. Wow, that's our next reptile. So we just added a, a, an amphibian and a reptile to the list. They're so beautiful. Such an awesome little snake. Very cool. I love it. I love finding new species for the list. It's been a while since I've actually seen a ring neck. So it's, it's, it's awesome. Look at that. He's not going to tolerate me holding him too much longer. All right. I'm going to try and get a few images of him. Then I'll let him go. I don't know if this is true, but one thing I've noticed with snakes is they only see you as one of three things. You're either prey, predator, or nothing. And you want to become nothing to a snake. You want him to believe that you're just part of the, of the environment. You're not prey, you're not predator, you're harmless. Well, I guess mate could be another possibility, but so mate, <laughs> mate's the other possibility. I just found a, um, a slimy salamander. Is he not cool or what? Look how beautiful this one is. It has many more spots than what, uh, the one we found earlier was absolutely beautiful. Salamanders are in the order of Caldata. They're in the, in the class Amphibia, in the order of Caldata. Uh, frogs and toads are Anura. And there's another class of amphibians called Sicilians. And I will not find any of those until we get to the equator. Where uh, I think there's like a couple hundred species have been discovered. So... It's gonna be a while before I find this. Let's move on. Guys, that's a yellow rumped warbler. I'm pretty sure. Here's one of my philosophies that I go by when I'm out here in the field looking for wildlife. I never use bird recordings. Um, a lot of people will use bird recordings to try and lure in birds and get an image of them. Uh, I never do that. I have to find it fair and square. I don't use, I don't use bait. I don't use sound recordings. Um, I have to find natural means of find these animals a beetle I have no idea what that is look at that what a bizarre looking beetle now these beetles have a habit of 
curling up into a ball and falling to the ground. I found a, if he's still there, a jumping spider. I hope he cooperates with me so I can get him. He doesn't seem to want to do that. mouse so that does it for this episode see you next time what's on your list